What is up, guys? Pyrotoad here, and oh gosh, the lighting. Uh, today I'll be making a video, just a quick little video, um, talking about uh, the expo coming up on this weekend, the 23rd to the 24th of September. Um, 23rd, 24th, 2017. And uh, it's coming up this weekend from when this video should be out. Hopefully, this video will come out. It should be the weekend of this video coming out. And it is today, um, the, um, NARBC North American, uh, like, Reptile Breeders Conference or something like that. And, um, it's gonna be here in Arlington, Texas. So, we're gonna head on down there this weekend. I'm gonna hope to see some of my subscribers there. It'll be really cool. Maybe I can meet some, shake hands, anything like that. And, uh, who's out right now? Uh, I don't know if you can see him. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's his tail. There he is. Right there. But anyways, um, so I just want to make that as an announcement. And uh, another reason, it, another now it's got like two announcements. One thing is, sorry I haven't uploaded. I'm not, on my, I used to upload like three, day, three videos a week. I slowed down just because of school and all that. I'm sure most of y'all know how that, you know, how that turns out. I'm still going to try to do at least two videos a week. Maybe one, um... Hopefully I'll be able to keep if I hopefully I'll be able to keep it up. Then another thing is, this is about Apollo's tank. So most of you all who have been here for a while know I did a vivarium first tank, as you can see there. And um what I noticed is the isopods that were in his tank, I haven't seen a single one. And I think and they're like twenty dollars a thing of them. And I haven't seen a, seen a single isopod, so I don't know what happened to them. First, that's first of all. Second of all, I'm starting to see these little tiny little bugs. Like, I mean, so small. They're, like, really tiny. I've, I'll see them here and there. They almost look like little mites. I'm keeping an eye out on that. And then one other thing I noticed was um, there were slugs all under his food dish. And, it's, you know, it's really moist under there. And they were in his water bowl, and some were in his food, I think. And they were pretty good-sized slugs. So I don't know what happened. Um, I, the only thing, the best plausible answer I thought of is the plants that, um, I bought them with. I bought them from Lowe's, first of all. I didn't really check them over. And then another thing is, um, I forgot to rinse them. So I just planted them with their soil and everything. I kind of, because, I mean, I wanted them, because I didn't know if I was going to shock them. This is my first time doing a vivarium. So I didn't know if I was going to shock them or anything like that. And so, um... I put them in the pots just with the soil and everything. And what I think happened is there's those little bugs and the slugs, bugs and slugs, um, inside the pot or in the plant's so, um, soil already. And what I think happened is they eventually got out, realized they have lots of room, found his food bowl, and just decided to lay there. Because I found one large one one time. And then after that, a, cu like a couple weeks later, if not a few months later, they're everywhere. I just know some all in his food dish. So, if y'all have any suggestions, what I've done so far is I've put some lettuce out. I don't know if y'all can see, but I put some lettuce out so that the slugs can munch on it. When they go to munch on it, I'll take out the lettuce with the slugs on it. There's other methods, and if it seriously comes to it, I'll pull up the tank, but I really don't want to have to pull up the tank. So, uh, just give me ideas. Please give me ideas, because I know there are kind of, there's some bite marks on one of the plants. But, um, there is some right there. I don't know if you can see. But there's some bite marks. But hopefully, it's nothing too serious. So, because I really don't want to have to pull up the whole tank and hose everything off again. Because that was a lot of work. So, um, that's pretty much it. Sorry, this is I'm not getting too up close and personal with my animals or anything like that. But, um, maybe I will try to get more videos out there. Try to do more hands-on learning and, you know, activities with the animals. And other things like that. And hope to see you at the expo. And there will be some upcoming pretty cool videos like expo. And some, uh, we'll be doing some food tests possibly. So stay tuned for that guys. And thank you for subscribing. We're so close to 100 subscribers. We hit it and then it dropped like down two subscribers. It's so bumpy guys. But y'all, y'all are doing awesome. So that's all for this video guys. And see you later.